Hi everyone, how you doing? And welcome back to Crazy Bake. Today it's just me cooking, um, and we are going to be cooking Gold Whisper slices. I have all the ingredients set up. I will go through them with you, and yeah, I'm going to get the tripod set up. We'll get you on there, and we'll crack on with today's video. Hope you enjoy. <coughs> right, so here's the ingredients. We have. 180 grams of milk chocolate fruit and nut we're using today you can use plain but we're using this we have a packet of biscuits that have already crushed um, Scottish fingers 250 grams we have our 130 grams of melted butter or you could use margarine whatever um, whatever you like we are using the duos, Gold Whisper duos, so you get two halves in each. We've got three of them. We already had these, so yeah. And I've not seen a video doing a Gold Whisper slice on YouTube. And then we have in here is 139 grams of caramel condensed milk. So there's your ingredients. What we're going to do is, is you're going to break your chocolate up and put it into the um, caramel. And then we're going to melt that down. Just like so. That's going to go over onto the hob to get ready. But for the next part, <coughs> you're going to obviously smash a piece. I've already done it, I've just done it in the pack. Broken biscuits straight into there. Going to discard of this rubbish. <clears throat> Just to make sure all of it's broken up the best that you can. Let me try and get every little little bit broken up. It's a nice, quick, easy recipe. And then we're going to pour into that is our butter. Just washing my hands. And we're going to give it a mix. Now it's quite runny. Bear with me two minutes. I just want it a little bit more thicker. I know you're going to put it in the fridge and it will harden up, but I just want it nice so it doesn't take too long in the fridge.
Okay, couldn't actually find any more Scottish biscuits, so we found little cookies. You don't actually have to add this because um, it is going to thicken in the um, fridge, but I just want to less time there's about four yeah so you haven't actually got to do this Right, I'll put the last two in and then that is good if you want to do the same if you don't want it as runny and you don't want to leave it in the fridge longer to chill then you can just add any biscuit to it really Look at that, that's a lot better. Now we're going to get our tin. Which is here. Um, I will leave the dimensions of the tin down below. Use that or use your fingers. Well, remember, you don't want this too thick. Just a little base just to hold it all together. This is still a bit tacky, but not as runny as it was. Now, we'll actually, while we do the rest, we're going to stick that straight into the fridge. Right, what you're going to do is you're going to have this on a low heat to start with because we don't want to burn and just keep stirring it. Until it's all melted and combined together. If you don't feel brave enough doing it this way, you can always put a glass dish over it with a bit of water in the pan. But as long as you keep stirring it like this, it won't actually burn or stick. Well, it might stick, but it won't burn. 
that one's all nice and melted and then what we're going to do is is here we have three individual bars three little pieces of the gold whisper we're going to melt into it as well and then we have three bits to also decorate the top of it So yeah, doing it this way, like I say, it's on a really low heat, the lowest it will go. Um, or like I say, if not, you put a bit of water in the saucepan, put a glass dish on top, and then put your ingredients into it. Now it's going to have bits of lumps in it because this has got obviously fruit and nut bar in it. Now I'm just going to turn the heat off just because that will still melt down. Now what is left in there is actually just the nut and the fruit from obviously the fruit and nut bar. I'm just going to leave that there, I'll be back I'm just going to check on the base which is in the fridge. Okay so here's our base, it has slightly set now what you're going to do is just going to pour over your nice melted goo. Sorry if you can't see this. Try and get every little bit. And literally just spread it evenly over the top of your biscuit. Not only is it a quick and easy recipe, but it's a really good idea if you don't know what to do. You've got a party coming up or anything like that, a special occasion so easy and so delicious this won't last long in this house right like so <clears throat> I'm just going to get this in some hot water quickly While we wait for that to heat up, 
Um, yeah, and then with the other three parts of the Gold Whisper, I've cut them into chunks. And you literally just dot them around. And whatever's left, you just eat. So you can do it like that, so they all get a, like a, a slice each. Or you could actually then just, if you don't want to eat the rest of the chocolate, you could just plop it on like this. in any old way really like so well I just fill this saucepan quickly stop it going like concrete What we do is now we wait and that has to go in the fridge to set probably about an hour maybe longer but we'll check it back in an hour see you soon right so here you go it is finally out of the fridge you can see it's nice and firm now lovely I've cut a bit I'm going to lift it up and give it a taste test. Right, so here we go. There's your chocolate. Slightly breaking. Mmm. Could do with a little bit longer. It's still a bit tacky. But with that fruit and nut and the Scottish biscuit is really really nice yeah so it's it's really really is nice you get the fruit and nut and then the gold whisper absolutely lovely Ooh. that's how it won't last long in this house um, so yeah if you enjoyed that video please give it a big thumbs up Please subscribe if you haven't already. Turn the little bell notification on where it should say subscribed so you get notified whenever we upload a video. Um, normal days is a Thursday and a weekend is the only time we get to actually do cooking videos. So, catch you guys soon. Bye for now.